This original WSRE presentation is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. A new young generation of singer-songwriters on this edition of Conversations. The Pensacola Beach Songwriters Festival has been host to many marquee names in the music industry, but bubbling beneath the headliners is a younger generation of talented artists who are building their own impressive careers. On this edition of Conversations, we'll meet three talented young women who are pursuing their love for music, songwriting, and performing. Karis Waltman's dad showed her three chords on a guitar and her passion for music was ignited. She's been writing songs since before she was a teenager. Best described as a girl and her guitar, Karis routinely performs her original music along with a mix of traditional folk standards. In 2017, she appeared on the television show The Voice, where Adam Levine likened her musical style to that of Dolly Parton. Faith Jess started singing professionally and writing songs at the age of 12. She recently released her debut single, He Won't Even Say. She has had an accompanying video to go along with that as well. Faith describes her musical style as country pop with a twist of indie. Tris Weeks is a high school senior with a diverse background in music and performing, from musical theater and opera to modern alternative and classic rock. She is classically trained in voice, plays piano and guitar, and also has studied at the Interlochen Arts Academy in Northern Michigan. She is also a young ambassador for the Tyler Robinson Foundation. Ladies, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Great. I am curious, all of you started performing and writing songs at such a young age. So how does that happen? What, what was the inspiration? What was the trigger, Karis, that started it? My dad, um, he sang me and my little sister bedtime songs before we go to sleep, and he knew like four chords on guitar, and that's what inspired me first. Okay. Now, did you start writing right away uh, once you learned the, the guitar chords? Or? Pretty much. I was writing short stories and poetry from the time that I could write, pretty much. Uh -huh. And I think learning guitar just came along with that, and songwriting started after that. Neat. Faith, what about you? How, how did it start for you? Um, I began songwriting whenever I was like in the fourth grade is what it was. And um, it was just simple little like friend drama that started it all off. I was upset one day, so I got my little notebook out and wrote a song about it. And then um, a couple of years later, I took a guitar class all just because I wanted just to get out of PE in middle <laughs> school. So I um, picked that up and I ended up falling in love with the instrument. And then I put my songs together with the guitar and realized I was like, okay, this is fun. I could do this. But um, and it's just been ongoing obsession ever since. <laughs> neat, neat. Tris, what about you? I have just been performing ever since I can remember. I don't music has always been at the forefront of my life and, and singing and performing has been the most magical thing for me and so as I got older I wanted to take that to a new level and so I decided to learn how to play the guitar which I've been doing for about five years and I was writing poetry and stuff all through middle, middle school and combining that with music and singing and performing and the things that I've always loved just kind of felt like the natural evolution. Is it hard to write a song? Is it hard for you to write a song? I don't think so. I think when Inspiration hits, it just all happens. Do y'all agree? <laughs> yeah, think, yeah. I think sometimes it is. Like sometimes you get writer's block and everything, and it's hard just to get out of that. But then once you have the right song idea, then you can go from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. It's when you're in that moment of inspiration, it almost feels as if it writes itself sometimes, but then there are days when nothing's coming and you might be stuck in some of the same chord progressions and stuff where it can be a little bit more difficult, but when you're in that, in that creative headspace, it kind of just flows. I've interviewed a lot of songwriters over the <laughs> years, and, and I always like to ask this question, is it, is it a mechanical type thing for you, or is it just something that um, I saw a sign on the road, bam, that, that'd be a great song title. Uh, or do you say, okay, today I'm gonna sit down and for an hour I'm gonna write a song? When I, when I force myself to try to write a song, that's when it doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Yeah, it's, it's inspiration. When I see something that sparks something else and it just keeps on going, that's how yeah. it works for me. For me, it's like I'll see a word one day and I'll think, oh, that would make a really cool song title. So usually I'll come up with the title before I even have the song. So I'll think of an idea and then 
usually this it doesn't even happen the way I originally thought it does but there has to be some spark of inspiration behind it to cause the whole song to come about and then once it comes about I'm like oh this is totally different than what I thought it was but I like it yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about you yeah like Kara said when I sit down and try to force myself to write a song that's never when it happens I hear melodies in my head all day and so sometimes it's at the most inconvenient times so I'll be taking a trigonometry test I'm like oh my gosh that's a great hook you know I need to <laughs> go to the bathroom and try to record this onto my phone but <laughs> um, so it's it's different for me every time sometimes I'll be talking with somebody and they'll say something and I'm like that sounds like a great lyric to a song and then I'll take that and develop it into whatever I'm feeling at the time but it totally varies for me Neat. I'm pulling this out because I want to have each of you do a song in, in, in its entirety. And I'm going to start with you, Karis. Now, this is called Kisses from St. Louis. Tell me a little bit about the song and, and how it came about, first of all. Kisses from St. Louis. That phrase was said to me um, by someone. And I guess, like the girls were saying, that kind of just sparked something in my mind. And I was like, I'm going to write a song about that. So it's about two people that are in love um, with each other and in love with the road and traveling at the same time. Okay. And just the struggles that come with that. Neat, neat, very good. Well, let's hear it. I wish I would have turned
traveled the rails, planes, buses, and on foot. I never felt so free. And I'd like to be there with you now. But until then, I send you my kisses from Saint. Very nice, very, very Thank nice. You. Great. Faith, your song, it, tell me about it. It is in titled, He Won't Even Say. Um, so I wrote this song about a date that I went on and I was like 16 years old, so everything was just like a blur and just messed up. But I went on a date <laughs> and the guy didn't talk to me at all and he left mid-date just because I don't know why, he was just mean. So he <laughs> left and I was so upset and distraught about it. So I came home and wrote the song called He Won't Even Say because he didn't say anything. He just, poof, bye. So um, that's where this song came from. All right, let's hear it. I shouldn't let him get into my head. He's probably on the phone with her instead. I told myself I wouldn't even think But he looks so cute when he's wearing pink I'm laughing at my stupid little thoughts While overthinking all these stupid thoughts I'm, Why does he keep on looking at his feet? Am I a teenage drama queen? And I can't even feel right Say, you look nice here underneath this moonlight. I've been thinking of you all day. You're the one who really come my eye, and now finally realize that he won't even say. Why does he keep on looking at his feet? Does it keep a looking at his feet? Am I a teenage drama queen? And I can't even deal right now. He won't even say. You look nice here underneath the spoon light. I've been thinking of you all day. You're the one who really come my eye. He won't even say. Oh, he won't even say. You look nice here underneath this moonlight. And I've been thinking of you all day. You're the one who really caught my eye And now finally realize That he won't even say I'm laughing at my stupid little thoughts While overthinking all these crazy thoughts He won't even say. Very nice. Very, very Thank nice. You. Very nice. Well, Tris, tell me about your song entitled Breaking Down. How did it come about? It's a song I was feeling super overwhelmed, and I came home and I sat down, and this just spilled out of me. So it's a song about recognizing your faults and learning how to grow from them. All right, very good. Let's hear it. to play by the rules Only 
did what I thought was right. Used to do good in school, only he lived by the book. But I'm growing older and my tolerance is growing colder. Life's happening faster and I'm determined to work harder. To work harder. I've been breaking down, overcome, overwhelmed. I hit the ground. This is how it feels to break. I'm a cheater, I'm a liar, I'm the girl, lights the world on fire. I'm a cheater, I'm a liar, I'm the girl, lights the world on fire. bewildered eyes I'm dancing alone to a beat nobody can hear but I'm growing older and my tolerance is growing colder life's happening faster and I'm Determined to work harder, to work harder. I've been breaking down, overcome, overwhelmed. I hit the ground. This is how it feels to break. I'm a cheater, I'm a liar. I'm the girl who lights the world on fire. I'm a cheater, I'm a liar. I'm the girl who lights her world on fire. La da dum, la dum da dum, la da dum, la da da dum, la da dum, la dum da dum. I'm a dreamer, a survivor. I'm the girl who lights the world on fire. I'm a dreamer, a survivor. I'm the girl who lights the world on fire. Very, very good. Very, very good. You guys are all so talented. I'm curious, when you sit down to write a song, are you thinking about a particular genre? Because we sort of mentioned, I mean, you, you like folk, you kind of like the country, a little indie. You're definitely into more indie, alternative rock. Or, do you ever think of the song, okay, I'm going to write a, a rock song, I'm going to write a folk song. Is genre on your mind? Not for me. Um, I listen to mostly folk music and bluegrass music, um, singer-songwriter sometimes. So I think what you listen to definitely affects how you write. I see the girls nodding, so I'm <laughs> guessing it's the same with them too. So yeah. yeah. How about you, Faith? Um, I definitely think like that. There have been times where I'm just like, oh, I'm going to write a folky sound. But then it comes out like a totally different like pop style. I was like, well, that didn't mean to happen, but it sounds cool still. So it's like you never really have a genre picked out. Yeah. Hmm. How about you, Trish? Yeah, I think definitely what you listen to influences everything. And I listen to from Mozart to Pink Floyd to Imagine Dragons. And, and so I think all of those things have come together and created something new. I really don't like to pinpoint my music into a genre. I don't I don't think it really fits into one. It I definitely have pop and rock influences, but sometimes I'm writing a melody I'm like that kind of sounds kind of classical. That might be coming from my voice background too. So I think I'm just always trying to create something that's new and fresh and inspiring and, and doesn't necessarily have to fit inside a box. Is it harder to write the music or the words? <laughs> I think it's, I don't know, I think it changes, jumps back and forth. Sometimes a melody will come to your head or sometimes it starts with the words. Yeah. So yeah. Normally what it starts with I feel like is the easiest to get out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
for me, I think it's harder to write the music because I think that sometimes with songwriting, you get so caught up in like this little bubble and you just stay there and you're comfortable with something. But then it's hard for you to get out of that comfort zone. Like sometimes it's just like for the longest time I was stuck in like the G, E minor, C phase where it's just like every song I wrote had that same sound to it. And then most recently it took me like five years just to get out of that. So now I'm like starting to just like expand the way I play music. So. Interesting. <laughs> How about you, Tris? I write words all the time. I'm just constantly spewing poetry everywhere. But um, I like what Kara said. It, whichever comes first is typically the easiest. And for me, it's different. Sometimes I get the melody first, and sometimes the lyrics come first. So it depends on the day, I guess. I have about eight minutes left in the show. So I want each one of you to do just a piece of, okay. of one more song. So Karis, what are you going to do for us? Um, I'll do a song called Most Accidentally. All right, let's hear it. These memories of you, they've got me so down and blue. Babe, I wish we were together. You tell me your thoughts are with me, but babe, can't you see? I'm spending another lonesome night alone. Loved you most accidentally. Very good, very good. We are really tight on time, okay. so give me two minutes real quick. Gotcha. This song is called Worth. I've always been my own self-doubter. Sweet dreams just turn sour when you let that voice get louder and louder. You've got one called Thin Ice. You're going to do a couple of minutes for us. Let's hear yeah. it. You're half the world away. I don't know what to say. I'm lost this time. You went straight into the Golden Gate collecting rhymes. It's been a long winter. And the wind makes me shiver. Ooh, ooh. Dreaming, sleeping, waiting. Oh, I'm figure skating on thin ice. Deeply contemplating survival. Oh, 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 oh,
Very good, very good. Wow, you guys are full of talent. Thank you. <laughs> so if people want to learn more about you, where is the where is the place on social media that they go? Yeah, um, my website is karisofficial.com and my Instagram is the other thing I use mostly is Karis Music. Okay, very good. And Faith? I'm super active on Instagram. You guys can follow me with um, Faith underscore Jess. And if you want to, we can DM and talk if you have any questions. Okay, great. <laughs> and go ahead. You, you, you actually have a video out? I do. Yes, I have a music video out right now. Um, it's on YouTube. It's called He Won't Even Say. And that's just under my name, Faith Jess. So check it out. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. And you? Awesome. People can find me at tristmusic.com, Trist Music on Instagram, Trist Music on Facebook, Trist Music on YouTube, and uh, Songwriter Tris on Twitter. Okay, very good. One of the things that I mentioned that you're involved with, and I know the three of y'all and one other person was also involved in that, but give me a quick promotion, a local for the Tyler Robinson Foundation raising money. And so real quick, what is it? Sure, the Tyler Robinson Foundation was founded by Imagine Dragons to help families fight the unseen financial costs of pediatric cancer. And so. And, and you guys, the three of you, and you had one other uh, friend, Cena Carpenter, uh, yes, uh -huh, mm -hmm. who uh, participated in a, in a fundraiser a while back. So that was that was really neat. So you guys were able to raise some money and play some music and and have a great time. Well, thank you so very much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wish you all the very best. Um, and by the way, in full disclosure, um, this one here is <laughs> my daughter so <laughs> i want to make sure everybody everybody knew that however fortunately for her she got absolutely none of my musical ability <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, also very special thanks to our friends at the Pensacola Beach Songwriters Festival. Uh, how neat is it that the organizers of the festival allow uh, so many young folks in our area to participate and showcase their talents right alongside of some of the guys and girls who have written some big hit songs. So that's really uh, neat and uh, kudos to the Pensacola Beach uh, Songwriters Festival. By the way, you can find more of our conversations with songwriters and other interesting personalities online at wsre.org slash conversations, as well as on Facebook and YouTube. I'm Jeff Weeks. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Take wonderful care of yourself. We'll see you soon. Support for this program is provided in part by Gulf Power, a Southern company. And by viewers like you. Thank you.